Good day everyone. Today on the bench we're going to take a little bit of a walk on the dark side. We're going to tie up uh, Pistol Pete. This fly has been around for some time. I don't know the originator right off the top, but uh, basically has a propeller blade on it. As you can see, it works very well. Moves some water. It's very catch a lot of fish's attention. Works great in dark water for sure. I've tied it in all kinds of colors, greens, blues, blacks, whatever, you name it. Um, so we'll go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Start I'm going to use some uh, Tempco uh, 5263 streamer hooks or size 2. We'll use some um, large gold beads for the front bead and the back bead I'm going to use just some red uh, glass ruby eye. The uh, body we're going to use some O2 lead over the, the body get this fly down a little bit more. You can use different uh, 0 .30, 0 .35, I use that too. Depends on uh, the waters we're in. You can adjust your weights. That's the nice thing about doing your own flies. Uh, these uh, propellers, hook and hackle sell them. I know they do. You can get them uh, through any of your local fly shops. Uh, the rib, I'm going to use some red wire. This is a brassy wire. You can use uh, small if you want. Uh, thread, I'm going to use 6 aught black thread to tie with. The tail, I'm going to use some uh, woolly bugger marabou. This is selected here from uh, Wapsi. And uh, if not, you can select some nice fluffy plumes out of your packs, whatever you have. The body, oh, for the tail accent, I'm going to use some fluorescent, or this is kind of a, a holographic uh, fuchsia which is a very, very nice color. I use that on, uh, works really well on burnt orange too, looks great. Then the body, I'm going to use some uh, tinsel senile, uh large and black. So um, this is going to be a darker fly, of course, and we can tie all kinds of colors, as I mentioned. I'm going to put a claret um, hackle on it. Nice, soft, webby hackle from the back of my uh, skin here. That's what we want, it's something nice that'll breathe. Nice webby hackle. So let's get a uh, hook in the vise and tie one of these up. Make sure you have the barbs pinched on these flies. I pinch all my flies. I know I've, I've had comments about people saying, well, you're not pinching your barbs down. And, and um, I do fish barbless all the time. I, I tie all my hooks the way they come out of the box unless I need to pinch the barbs when, I, when I'm putting uh, beads or whatever on them like I do need now to get this bead on around the shank. But I always pinch, when I tie my flies on, I always pinch them down at that time. Uh, my saltwater stuff when I'm in a hurry, I have all my hooks pre-smashed, pre all the barbs all smashed down before I go out with them. And that's a good idea too. But Okay, I'm just going to put my uh, two beads, my heavy gold bead on the front, my propeller, make sure it's facing the right way, put a little glass bead, that's going to help it uh, ride nice and turn. Um, got one of my buddies over, I'm not going to name any names or tell you where he fishes, but he's going to be a little upset when he sees me having this one on. He's done so well with it. And there's a lot of us that fish these. They're just unlimited amount of flies out there for sure. I'm going to start my thread in behind the red bead kind of get a bit of a thread base on the front. That allows me to um, get some movement. I don't want to cram that propeller up later. We want that movement. If not, that'll kind of impede the movement of it. And uh, it's actually a fly that I started tying for walleye and pike and different larger species and well, I'll take it in some of them big rainbows and browns. They'll eat this up like candy. They can see it. It's a, it's quite a, it's a lure, really. So a lot of flies are. Argue whatever you want. There's so many different materials out nowadays and, you know, we cross the line many times. Anyway, the uh, tail, I'm going to use two plumes from the Woolly Bugger Marabou, and that's selected nice, soft, breathable plumes, and I tie those. They kind of concave to concave. I tie them like that. I don't have them flared out. I want them married together. 
and I don't want to, I'll be shank length at most. I don't like the really too, I like the movement, but I don't want it too, too long to get carried away with that back there. Make sure it's tied really good. Lots of turns get in behind. I'm going to come in with a couple strands of my holographic fuchsia. Two strands enough. Don't want to overkill it with this flash. Got plenty with a prop, and I got a lot going on here. I cut it off just just past the tips of the marabou. Okay, so that's got that. And we'll come in with our red wire for reinforcing. Our color's nice, it shows through here on the fly too. That'll be good. And it's just a woolly bugger with a prop on it. Pistol Pete, and whoever come up, that's a pretty good name. But And I'll just wrap my chenille body forward. It's a good fly to use uh, some of these. These nice crystal chenilles, all kinds of nice chenilles available out there now. In the front, and I have my webby, this is all soft webby hackle here, and that's perfect for flies like this. You want something that will really breathe, strip it off, tie that tip in good. I'll just catch a bit of half hitch there. I'm going to use my rotary vise to do the woolly bugger. It's one thing about a Norvice and the woolly bugger was almost a marriage made in heaven. That's the way I like to do them. Make sure you have the uh, hackles kind of fluffed out. When they're webby like that, they, they kind of jam up on you. And so we just kind of fluff them out there so nothing gets trapped down. Take some good wide turns of your rib forward to behind by the glass bead. Make sure it's tied off really well here. We don't want that um, pistol to be crowded, the uh, prop. But we have to make sure we don't have any hackles see, in, impeding the uh, propeller blade. Once it's wet, it'll help. So it's a little tight right now. I just push it back just to get enough so I get it to spin freely. And make sure. It there you go. So you make sure that uh, you get a lot of good head cement on there. Uh, this fly is really durable. You can fish it all day. You can give it to your. Pass it on to your family if you like. It's going to last a long, long time. Catch lots of nice big uh, trout for you. I'm sure bull trout. You can tie this for all species. I don't. I don't see a fish that wouldn't eat that. So we appreciate you watching today. Another color I forgot to mention is good, real good, is white and, gri and uh, grizzly. So um, change up the colors, use your imagination, and all you fly tires uh, have, have got a lot, of, a lot of good ideas out there. We see lots being posted all the time on social media, and it's really nice to see that. So I'm glad I can share just a few of mine with, with you as well. So have a great day. We thank you for watching Sports Fishing on the Fly on the Bench, and see you again next time. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.